class number 7 6th uh, class science second lesson acids and bases now today i am going to explain class number 7 in class number 6 uh, already we have studied about the uh, basic nature acidic nature and uh, indicators now we have to learn about uh, the activity number 5 so let us do 5 in this uh, activity uh, burn a small piece of magnesium ribbon. Now what we have to burn a small piece of magnesium ribbon. And uh, after boiling uh, it uh, with the tongs. Burn it with the tongs. collect the white ash after burning we will get some ash no? so collect it and dissolve it in the lime water so that ash collect it and dissolve in dissolving means combine in lime water so after dissolving it in lime water what will happen? The, uh, it is formed in the in this test that uh, solution will uh, blue litmus and uh, red litmus. Uh, by using this uh, lime water, we can test that uh, whether it is going to turn in, uh, into red color or uh, blue color with the help of uh, litmus paper. So by this, uh, on oxides of magnesium. Oxides of magnesium when dissolved in water when it is going to be water forms a magnesium hydroxide forms a magnesium that uh, is known as magnesium oxide that magnesium oxide when it is going to dissolve in water it is going to form magnesium hydroxide and uh, similarly oxides of potassium oxides of potassium so oxides of potassium and sodium form So, what are 
different chemical indicators methyl orange and methyl orange and phenolphthalein indicator phenolphthalein are used to test acids and bases so these are used to test acids and bases so by use so these are known as chemical indicators so methyl orange and phenolphthalein are used to test acids and bases they are known as chemical indicators so let us do the activity number 6 so in this activity now take a substances that are given in the table now here i will show you a table in the table some substances colorless phenolphthalein and methyl orange are going to be taken now take a small amount of two test tubes now what we have to take we have to take two test tubes so in that two test tubes add a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator now two drops of indicator so after adding the indicator to the test tubes add methyl orange to each test tube then add methyl orange methyl orange to the test tubes separately then now what well, note the effect repeat the process like substances one by one draw a table and what you have observed by adding these solutions to the test tube separate separately you have to make a table and you have to write the what the changes have occurred in this solutions like this so like this make a table and observe the changes and note it down methyl orange is going to give red color to the red color to acids and yellow color to bases so here it turns into sometimes pink color when the basic substance is added now let us do some more experiments about the this uh, indicators so let us do some more experiments now take a natural indicator take a natural indicator like lime water lime water to into the test tubes lime water or lime juice to the test tubes so after adding it to the six test tubes and acid and add copper so take six test tubes and add this lime juice and then what you have to add copper zinc copper zinc magnesium iron copper zinc magnesium iron brass and aluminium pieces aluminum pieces to the six test tubes separately these are there are six items now add each one separately now note down the observations what you are going to observe now the shape of the test tube will be like this and it is made up of glass now light a matchstick and introduce uh, in, into the test tubes so after your experiments after adding this uh, uh, solutions uh, with the lime water into this solutions take a matchstick and 
place it near to this uh, test tube and what are the changes you are going to observe you have to note down so when you place the matchstick near to this uh, if you a fire catches uh, to this uh, test tube then hydrogen is present in that uh, solutions